Hello YouTubers. Getting into some knife making. I needed a quenching tank. I'll fill this up with oil and then uh, quench, it, quench my knives in it when I bring them out to harden them and uh, that sort of thing. What I've got here is a piece of quarter inch wall 5x5 five five tubing. It's cut 20 inches long and I made this great big base for it and I'll weld all the way around it to seal it so it'll hold the oil. But I made a 20 inch base and I don't know if you can see them there but there's five holes around it and I'm going to put it on casters. Everything's got to be on casters in my shop so I can move it around. I have the center marked and I have it marked where I want this so this will be sitting right there in the center. I've got to tack this down then I have I burnt this out. It's going to be a lid for it. And I have some uh, thin stuff here. I don't know if it's 16 or 18 gauge. But I'm going to weld it on here and bend it all the way around so I have a flange to keep this from falling off. And I'll probably drill a hole in it, put a little knob or something on it so I can pick it up. First thing I've got to do is get my welder all set up and ready to go. And I'm going to tack this down, then I'm going to weld it all the way around to seal it. This is quarter inch plate and this is quarter inch wall tube. Let me get set up to do that. I don't know if it's a good idea, I got this cardboard back here so you can see what I'm doing, but I do have a fire extinguisher handy. So let's uh, see what I can do here. I'm going to tack it down first. Now I'm going to work my way around, try to get it all sealed up to hold that oil in there. bring you back when I'm done. Well I think I got a good weld all the way around now let's make the cap. Well I'm not really sure how to go about this I know that this plate is uh, I believe it's five and five eighths square which will give me enough room that, that I can tack weld this on the inside and it won't interfere with fitting on the the uh, lid. I need to turn this down to I'm going to go with 16 gauge so I don't just blast through it. Let's see how this uh, works here. Okay, I got her tacked in three spots. Let's see how tough this stuff is. This is just going to be a lid. Oops, I guess I didn't have it tacked as good as I thought. It's just going to be a lid to keep dust and dirt from getting in it. Let's get that uh, fixed up here. Ouch.
Oh, you can. Okay, you can see I put one of my uh, welding clamps on there, and I'll zoom in there, and you can see it's nice and tight down here along the bottom. So let's go ahead and get that tacked in place. Hopefully I did better that time. Now I'll, I'll roll it over again, clamp it down, and get her uh, tacked in place. Okay, I did not calculate or measure how long this had to be. I just cut it at work. Now I gotta cut that off with my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel. Let me grab the one here that's got the cutoff wheel on it. And see if I can get this done. Of course, every time I use any of those tools I put on a face shield, any of those angle grinders, I've seen the damage that they cause. Now I need to see about getting that bent on around there, and I'll tack it and weld down that seam. That'll make a nice little cover, keep it from falling off. There's the little gap I gotta fill after I get it bent over there. I think that might work right there. If I can clamp that down there. Just to get it tacked. Well, I was closer on that cut that I just made than I thought I was. Turn that back a little bit. I had to turn it up a little bit to penetrate into that quarter inch. I was having trouble with that. That's why it kept popping loose. I'm not a welder. I seem so close I can't see it. Let me turn that. Maybe I can get my light to shine in there a little bit. If I didn't weld it down, that'll help. There's the penetration. Like I said, I'm not a welder, but I'm having a ball. Let me see how that fits up there on top of this. Let's take a look up there and see what it looks like. Well, it's kind of busy behind it with all my junk. There we go. 
Now I'll just put a little knob on the top of it so I can grab it and pick it up off there. Like I can't do that. But uh, let me finish welding on the inside there and then uh, she should be done other than the knob. All done. If you notice, I put five casters on it. I don't know if I said that before. That just makes it more stable when you want to move it around. And then I put a little round knob on here. Something to grab hold of. Now, what kind of oil should I fill it with? Peanut oil? Um, that seems to be one of the oils that I hear. Uh, what's your suggestion on oil for uh, hardening, quenching your knife blade in to harden it? Thanks for watching.